part three. Again, we're going to jump down to slide six to get started. You need to get answers on six, seven, and eight for to get full credit on this one. Slide six, uh, you're going to click on this button. It'll take you to a Desmos graph. And, uh, and what I want you to do on this graph is figure out uh, there's a there's a formula on here ax squared plus bx plus c. I want you to figure out what changing a, changing b, changing c does to the graph. So you've got a table here. That's what's making these green dots, and you have a uh, an equation, and you have these three numbers down here, All right? And I just want you to slide them back and forth. Okay, see if you can figure out. How does changing A affect that curve? How does changing B affect that curve? How does changing C affect that curve? That's what you're going to type in these sections. All right. After you have an idea of what the different components of the formula do, then I want, to, I want you to see if you can adjust the sliders a b and c so that you can get the curve to perfectly line up with the green dots now i don't want to i don't want to do your work for you so i'm going to delete this out and i'll actually put in the sequence that that we made up last week or for the part two example 7 13 29 55 so 7 13 29 55 91, 137. Okay, and I don't, I don't have, I've got some blanks down here. It's fine if I don't have a full set of eight numbers in my sequence. I am going to hit this magnifying glass over here to uh, zoom the graph so that I can see all those points. And then I'm going to adjust A, B, and C, see if I can get my curve perfectly aligned with the. points here. Now this is close, right? And you might get to a certain point where you've been spending 10 minutes, 5 minutes trying to get this lined up perfectly and you just can't get it done. And if that happens and you gotta be like, alright this is as close as I could get it, that's fine with me for this week. But if you can get it to look like this, that curve goes exactly through each of those points. That's what I'm really looking for. Okay. On slide seven, you're gonna do two things when you get it as close as close to an approximation as you can. You're gonna take a screenshot. Uh, you can either use Control Shift and the little key above the number six on a Chromebook to take a screenshot, or Desmos will actually let you share the graph using export image all right and you can download that picture in order to slide it into into your graph all right so you're gonna have a picture of your graph here and you're also gonna put the equation the equation for that sequence the direct formula is ax squared plus bx plus c but you're going to replace a b and c with these numbers all right what the numbers that you come up with to perfectly align with your green dots 5 negative 9 11 so mine is going to look like 5x squared minus 9x plus 11 okay so you'll have a picture and an equation to go with that picture. All right, so slide six, figure out what A, B, and C, adjusting them, see what it does to the graph. Slide seven, adjust to get your curve to line up with your points. Get me an equation and a picture. Slide eight, you're gonna repeat the process for different sequences or different sets of numbers. The 
the original set of numbers, 6, 11, 18, 27, that's in the, in the graph for you, that's this, okay? This sequence from part two. So you're gonna do the same thing with the orange sequence, for example. 1, 6, 12, and the way you'll do that is come back onto the graph, delete, delete all these numbers in the Y column, and replace them with the orange numbers. Okay? And then you'll do the, the, do the same thing again, slide these guys, see if you can get your curve to line up perfectly with the with the points when you feel like you've gotten it as close as you can get it uh, you're going to give me the formula all right formula for the orange one and then again come in here delete these out put your blue sequence in there get me a formula for that by again getting the curve to line up with the with the points and so on okay you should you should have by the end you'll have five formulas one for the green sequence blue orange the sequence you made up last week or you can make one up this week and this guy here this one's gonna be a little different from all the other ones but you'll see how that works when you put those numbers in.